Hello, I'm Daphne and I live here in the Cotswolds and I also live with my very special little tame otter called Rudy. Rudy and I are growing old together. In my life and over the last 40 years, we have had 10 otters. Our very first otter we bought from a children's zoo. You, you can't do that anymore, but we did. And we got her because we wanted to highlight uh, the fact that our rivers, in, in most cases, were too dirty for wild otters. And we wanted her to help uh, change the government and, and bring in the Clean Rivers Act. And they've all done the same job. They've all been wonderful. They've all enjoyed meeting the public. And all the time I'm hoping, and I jolly well think, that they have done a very good job. Rudy is now 14 years old, which is pretty old for his type of otter. He's an Asian short clawed otter. Uh, I have had him since he was three weeks old, but was rejected by his mother. And uh, we've been together ever since. Rudy is the most wonderful companion. Um, otters don't like having short legs and they like being high. So he loves to be on my shoulder and he's very curious. Uh, and, and, and very, very playful. And uh, he likes to play with the tap when it's running in the kitchen. He likes to roll eggs around the floor. But he's usually ready for anything. And he's very keen on meeting people. Looking back over the times, the years that I've had otters, um, I suppose they make the most wonderful companions. But they, they never stay still like a dog or a cat. You can't really sit down and watch television for any length of time like you could with a cat or a dog because they want to be doing things. When you keep an otter, you have to be licensed. Uh, there are lots of rules you have to obey. And we do have to keep uh, Rudy uh, for his security and for the law in an approved uh, enclosure. But we take him out for lots and lots of walks and he goes in his travelling cage to meet all sorts of people and open fates and all that sort of thing. Uh, but I have to face the fact that one day he will be no more and that's it. And I hope at that stage that I will be able to go and help my friend who has recently started the UK Wild Otter Trust. Uh, he brings up uh, orphan otters and I think what I would like to do would to help him to bring up a baby British otter. And I would really love to bring up a British otter and then plan the release back to the wild.